Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's uh, video, I'll be talking about what is the difference between a sum function and a sum of function in Excel. Even before I proceed to demonstrate what is the difference between a sum function and a sum of function in Excel, I request all of you to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. As you can see here uh, in the screen, I have got two important fields. The first one is a categorical field, which has categories. Its uh, name is gender. This is the first field I have. Now the second field that I have is salary. I have got the distribution of salary for males and females. Using this data, I want to demonstrate what is the difference between a sum function and a sum of function. I've highlighted the male salary using green color. Firstly, let's talk about a sum function. As the name itself suggests, this is used to calculate the sum or the total of all the values. As you can see here, there are 12 values for salary. You can see here, the count is 12, which means that there are 12 values for salary. Now, when you want to take the total of all the cells, what you can do is you can use the sum function. How do we use the sum function? To type any formula, we'll have to begin with a equal to. Then we can give the function name, which is sum, open parenthesis. You can see here, once we declare the sum function, we will have to select the range of all those cells for which Excel has to take the total. So from the first employee all the way up to the 12th employee, I will be selecting the range. You can see here in the formula bar, you have C3 up to C14. Let me close the parenthesis and simply hit enter. You can see here, this will give you the total salary of all the employees. It is 4,9050 rupees. How do we know whether the calculation is done correctly or not? To check whether the calculation is correct or not, let me select all the cells here. Let me verify what is the total value. You can see here the sum is 4,9050 rupees, which is what some function in Excel has shown. Now, while a sum function is very, very simple, let's now try to understand some if function. There are two parts to this. First part is the sum or taking the total of values. And the second part is the if criteria. Here again, I will be taking the total, but I will be taking the total not of all employees. I will be taking the total only of male employees. In other words, I am not taking into account the salary of the female employees. This is slightly tricky. You can't achieve this using the sum function because just as you saw, sum function expects you to ent uh, enter the range of the cells. In fact, it expects you to enter the range of all the cells. Sum of function has three arguments. Let us see how these three arguments work. Firstly, under the sum of function, I will type equal to, then use the sum if function. You can see here, this is the sum if function which I will be working on. Excel now, helps me with a description. It says I have to specify the range. This is the first argument. The second argument is specify the criteria. And the third argument is to specify the sum range. Firstly, what do we mean by range? Here, when we talk about range, Excel expects me to specify the range of the first variable namely the variable which contains employee gender. So this is what we mean 
when we say gender. Let's look at the second argument here when Excel expects me to specify the criteria. So to specify the criteria, what I will do is I will simply put a comma and say male. Now, since this is string, this has to be enclosed within quotes. What this does is from the range of cells that I have selected in the first argument, Excel searches for the word male. It selects only male employees and then it looks to take the total. So far, I have not specified the variable for which Excel has to take the total, the third argument, namely the sum range argument, I will be specifying the range of the cells for which Excel has to give me the total. So this is the range of salary. Let me repeat what I have done. In the first argument, I have specified gender. Within gender, I want to take the total of only male employees and therefore I'm specifying the word male here. Since it is string, it has to be enclosed within quotes. And I want Excel to take the total of the variable salary. So let me close the parenthesis. You can see here what Excel does is, Excel takes the total of all the cells which are highlighted in green color because these cells which are highlighted in green color correspond to the male salary. Let me hit the enter. You can see here, Excel now gives the total salary of the males, which is 2,78,400 rupees. While the total salary is 4,9050 rupees, the total of only the male salary would be 2,78,400 rupees. To check whether this value is correct, what I will do is I will simply select only the male salary. Let me select only those cells which represent male salary. You can look at the total here, which is 2,78,400 rupees, which is what I have been able to get using the sum if function. So this is how sum if function works. There are three arguments. The first argument here is for employee gender. Within this, the second argument is the criteria that you want to specify. That is, if you want to look at only the male salary, you can declare male here. If you want to check only for the female salary, all that you need to do is change the word male to female. And the third argument is you have to specify the range of salary column. And then simply hit on enter. Excel will give you the output of some function. In today's video, we have looked at what is the difference between sum function and sum of function. Sum of function is pretty straightforward. All that you need to do is you have to use the sum function and specify the range for which you need to take the total. And when it comes to sum if function, there are two parts. First is you have to select the variable from which you are interested in specifying the criteria. That is the first argument. The second argument will be to specify the criteria. And the last argument is select all those cells which you want Excel to add. So this is how sum and sum if function differs. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. In case you have liked this particular video, I request you to uh, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.